the big question this morning, why did a veteran pilot allegedly try to shut down the engines of a passenger plane while riding in the cockpit jump seat? Alaska Airlines Flight 2059, operated by Horizon Air, was headed from Everett, Washington to San Francisco Sunday night when the airline says off-duty pilot Joseph Emerson suddenly tried to pull the engine fire suppression controls to turn off the engines at cruising altitude. The pilot and co-pilot stopped and subdued Emerson, removed him from the cockpit, then diverted the plane to Portland. We've got the uh, guy that tried to shut the engines down uh, out of the cockpit. We want law enforcement as soon as we get on the ground and park. Passenger Aubrey Gavello, seated in the last row, saw Emerson as he then walked to the back of the plane. I made eye contact with him. It was like one of those like soul chilling, like dead in the eyes, like just calm and just kind of like he was taking in everyone around him. Aubrey's boyfriend, Alex Wood, watched as police took Emerson into custody. Now booked on 167 charges, including 83 counts of attempted murder. It's scarier this morning to, to hear and I was one of those people. Some acquaintances of Emerson are surprised. His demeanor, how he treats the kids, the family, no indications of anything wrong. Aviation experts say jump seat riders, including off-duty pilots and federal officials, are subject to increased training and security compared to other passengers. Anyone that rides in the jump seat, whether you're a federal agent or a pilot, there's training that's required and you have to get briefed on emergency situations. One passenger on the flight says he's glad everyone is safe, but wonders if more should have been done. The fact it was their own employee that, that did that, I, that, that, that's a whole different level. They let someone who tried to shut the engines down walk freely on the airplane. Tom, do we know anything more about the suspect's background? So Emerson was hired by Horizon Air in 2001. Since then, he's worked for Alaska Airlines and Virgin America. As for whether this might be the result of some sort of mental health crisis, pilots over the age of 40 have to undergo medical evaluations every six months and disclose if they have a mental health issue or medications. Full mental evaluations, though, are not part of the physical, and Emerson's last physical was in September. Savannah. Wow. All right, Tom Costello, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.